a frog is to hopping as a cow is to walking. Say that analogy. We made up an analogy that tells what the animals say. Then we made up an analogy that tells how the animals move. Let's see if you can say both those analogies. Think, think, think. Turn your thinking brains. On, on, on. Say the analogy that tells what the animals say. Get ready. A frog is to ribbing as a cow is to moving. Good job. Think big. Now say the analogy about how the animals move. Get ready. A frog is to hopping as a cow is to walking. We're going to talk about how things are the same and how they are different. Listen, a pencil and chalk. Think of them. See if you can name two ways that they are the same. Well, I think they are the same because you can write with them, because they are tools, because they are things we use at school. That's how they are the same. That's how Miss Thomas thinks they are the same. Well, listen, a pencil and chalk, think of them. See if you can name two ways they are different. I would use a pencil in my classroom and I would use chalk at recess. We use a pencil to write on paper and we use chalk to use to write on ground. That's how Miss Thomas thinks they are different. I can't wait to hear your answers. So we talked about the word synonyms. A synonym is a word that means the same thing as another word. Remember, opposites mean different. Synonyms mean same. Think about the S in synonym. We're gonna say synonym is same. Synonym is same. The word that means the same thing. So listen, I'm going to shut the door. Say that. Here's a statement that has a synonym for shut. Listen, I'm going to close the door. That has the same, that is a synonym for shut. Listen again. I'm going to close the door. I'll say one of the statements. You say the statement that has a synonym. My turn. I'm going to close the door. Your turn. Say the statement that has a synonym. You should say, I'm going to shut the door. Here's another one. Listen, the pencil is skinny. Say that. The pencil is skinny. Here's a statement that mean, that has a synonym. Don't get tricked. It doesn't mean opposite. Don't tell me fat. Listen, the pencil is skinny. Here's a statement that has a synonym. The pencil is thin. Say that. The pencil is thin. I'll say one of the statements. You tell me the statement that has a synonym. My turn. Listen. The pencil is skinny. Your turn. The pencil is thin. So I'm going to tell you about an object, but I'm going to call it a funny name. You have to figure out what object I'm talking about. Listen, a zatch is made of cloth. Say that. A zatch is made of cloth. Listen, a zatch is clothing. Say that. A zatch is clothing. Listen, you wear a zatch in the water. Say that. A 
Everybody say the three things you know about a zatch. A zatch is made of cloth. A zatch is clothing. You wear a zatch in the water. One more time, we're gonna say the three things we know about a zatch. A zatch is made of cloth. A zatch is clothing. You wear a zatch in the water. Everybody, I'm thinking of, what kind of clothing am I thinking of? Right, a swimsuit. I couldn't fool you, it's really a swimsuit. How do you know? How do you know I was talking about a swimsuit? Yes, because a zatch is made of cloth. A zatch is, I mean, a swimsuit is made of cloth. A swimsuit is clothing, and you can wear a swimsuit in the water. How would you like to wear a zatch in the snow? Would you like that? I think I would be cold. So I'm gonna say, make up some statements. Some of these statements are true and some are false. You're gonna tell me about each statement. Listen, a book is made of paper. True or false? A doll is not food. True or false? You put clothes in a jar. True or false? You find a motorcycle in a library. True or false? A boy cannot ride on a horse's back. True or false? Your turn. Make up a statement about a book that is true. Now make up a statement about a book that is false. Good job. That's the end of our lesson for today.